last video, it took us a little while to process our cleanup because we didn't have a cleanup sluice um, or a concentrator. And so I figured, well, I have a 3D printer, so what can I find out there that I can maybe just print? And so if you have a 3D printer, you may be familiar with this website already, Thingiverse. It's a place where people upload their designs and uh, most of them are free. You just download them and print them. Uh, I'll link to this particular print in the description below. This is a pretty cool, it's like a mini gold cube. It comes, uh, you can print as many trays as you want. So here is a double stack design, although you can stack as many as you want. Here is just one of the mats. It has four different mat designs. These are high and low ribs. There is a V mat, which is this one you can barely tell. Also, it has a vortex mat, so it's kind of cool. Uh, it's best to print these with a flexible filament. It's a Ninja Flex or something like that. Here is the head unit. It sits on top of the box, distributes the water evenly down the sluice. And here is just one of the trays. And then here's the entire unit together. Here's a look at that vortex map. So my plan here is just to print these out. It's gonna take a little while. Get them on the printer and then once I have the product uh, printed out, then I will test it out and see if it does a good job at catching the concentrated gold. All right, here we are on the print, uh, about seven hours in. See about 35%. Still got 13 hours to go. I'll also be printing some rubber mats for it. There's several different types. I'll show you those when I start printing them. But I'm using this stuff here. Ninja Tech. Ninja Flex TPU. All right. Uh, here is one of the mats that I printed out. This was kind of my test to get a sense of the settings of things when you're printing a flexible filament. So this is a printer that's on the printer. It's just a rubbery uh, coating. This one may be kind of hard to see, but this is a low profile rib mat. Um, I figured I'm gonna print all these out and then I'll test them, see which one I like uh, for the type of gold that we get here, which is usually just, uh, so far what I've seen is just small flood gold, but um, who knows, They're, some of the other mat mats might be better for catching some chunky stuff too, so there's that, pretty cool. Okay, and here is the, uh, the head unit, if you will, the water distribution uh, block for this, this print. This thing is pretty small, um, but it should, uh, well, hopefully it'll work pretty good, you know, as far as capacity, you know, if we're finding we're running low or uh, we're clogging it up with gold or something, then you just print another tray and, and essentially it's just a mini gold cube. And so uh, for, you know, a DIY gold cube, if you will, but a lot smaller. So I'm trying to try this out, uh, fun little project. This one, sorry, I didn't get any footage of this. I was just, I wasn't actually sure if this test or this print would complete successfully. And it did. So this is just a PLA. And then, uh, here's where the water goes in. Water ports where it comes out. So this will sit on the unit just like this. All right, here it is the next day. We're still printing. It's almost done. It looks like about 34 minutes remaining. And this is the first tray. So this has probably been printing for a little over 24 hours. All right, here we are printing the sluice box mats. Here's an example of what one of those look like. Printed these ones earlier. So, pretty flexible. And then there's one sitting in the box. So, a couple more mats to go, and then I'll start printing some other boxes. All right, so I just finished up printing three of these boxes and three different kinds of mats, so. 
here. It's probably hard to see, but this is like a little sawtooth. And then we've got rib matting, um, a different profile. So this one's uh, a little higher, this one's a little shallower. So we'll try all three of these out and see, you know, uh, in which orientation uh, captures the most gold. All right, now as you can see, these just stack up on top of each other. It's like the gold cube, uh, you just offset or or at uh, which way the angle flows in the water. We'll flow right back and forth, right through these little uh, holes here. Yep, just like the gold cube. So it literally is a mini gold cube, although it doesn't have the the drops that would typically be on the edges. But otherwise, very similar. So this again, spray bar, just like that. So there's a three stack. I may print one more. But looks pretty cool. So I think it'll catch some gold. All right, we got the little mini gold cube, if you will, uh, set up. We just got it propped up over two little buckets and we're just gonna recirculate this. All right, well, we're gonna see how good this thing is at catching gold. We'll throw in a little sample, mix in with some pay dirt. Okay, so we got 0 0.22. All right, and here is the dirt, and we'll throw that in there. It's uh, a little bit on the coarser side, but there's some fines in there as well, so it should be a good test. All right, and here is the gold. And there it is. Here we go, got a almost a quarter of a gram in there. I'm just gonna run it, see what we get. You can see that there is some gold in there. Caught it right there on the top mat. Piece up there. Quite a bit right there. All right, and you're out of water, so we're out of dirt. We'll go ahead and clean this up. There's a better look at the box. Looks like some of it made it down, but that's to be expected. Okay, and here's the second mat there. I don't see too much. Here's a couple little pieces, one maybe right here. And right here, so a little did make it to the second mat. Well, those are very, very small pieces. Let's take a look at the third. Actually, is one piece possibly right here? Hard to say if that's actual gold or not. We'll pan these all out individually, and we'll see what uh, what gold is on each level. So we'll start with the third one first. And here is mat number two. Looks like a lot less 
material in pan number two. In pan number two, either um, maybe one that's probably the largest piece there. The piece that we saw before and we thought was gold was this little flake here, and it's it's nothing. Okay, and here's the top mat. So the top mat is just a ribbed mat. Uh, a little higher profile. The second mat was a rib mat with a slightly lower profile and then the third mat was a v-groove uh, type of mat. And you can see that most of the gold didn't move very far even on the top mat. Even including some bigger pieces like this guy here. This is like a little tiny picker but didn't go too far, so we'll pan this out. All right, this is the third and final mat. Yep. And probably one of the best pans that we've seen in a while. And there's all the gold. Nice. So, we'll go ahead and get this dried up, and then we'll get away on it. All right, here is the gold that we recovered. It's all dried up. And we're going to weigh it up here and see how much we may have lost. Alright, and there it is. I think that might be just slightly under. Oh, there we go. And it jumped back to 2-2, two, two, so that's exactly where we're at. But we did pan out the tailings as well. And in the tailings, maybe hard to see, there was a couple tiny flakes micros might not be able to see it there's one here 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 there's probably about six or seven total nothing we could actually get away on but um, this sluice the actual sluice mat material is about 20 inches 20 and a half inches total um, we may end up printing a, a fourth or fifth box even uh, to do a little bit better of, of catching the gold but in this case we would uh, run run the material twice. That's typically what people do, especially with a gold cube or running your concentrates. You would do it twice, and I think even if we did it with three trays, we would, we would catch everything. So here it is. Uh, pretty happy with that result. Not too bad. All right. Overall, I think that was a success, and I think we'll probably start using this on our cleanups going forward. All right. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. Follow our Instagram at 510prospecting and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.